Here's a Fluke multimeter, 11.62, 11.61 volts. That's on the battery that's been running all night. And we still got the symmetrical waveform going on. And it's uh, right around zero um, volts DC. It's actually kind of hanging on 30, yeah, well, it's flip-flopping between positive and negative. RMS 4.2 volts, so you know the circuit's running. 11.61 volts, that's two one-hundredths of a volt higher than it was nine hours ago. The battery has been has done nothing but climb while the circuit is running. Now I have the Fluke hooked in series, so it's acting as an amp meter and it's going to show negative next to the zeros anytime there's a negative current. This is the waveform on a scope still that symmetrical type of uh, waveform at the load. So anyway, we know that the battery voltage climbed over the last nine hours. All the data indicates the same thing should be happening. This meter is showing a negative zero on the amp meter and that's hooked in series positive and then the negative is going into the wire coming into the load from the load into the drain of the MOSFET. Okay and here's the uh, voltmeter in uh, parallel with that shunt resistor right there. You can see in the background there You saw that negative 0.4. Negative 0.2, negative 0.1. The amp meter in the background is just flashing a negative in front of the zeros. So there you have a uh, an amp meter which can't show a negative current but it will flash a negative sometimes and then here's a voltmeter on a 20 m or 200 um, millivolt scale so that 0.3 negative negative 0.2 volts on the shunt point get a life it's negative voltage get over it nothing to do with the scope being need to, needing to be warmed up because I can leave it on for hours and hours and hours and it's going to show the exact same thing get over it battery climbed overnight and here's your negative voltage showing on the shunt in the little red meter that was a negative point four okay you see both meters there negative point three there's your negative readings on the voltage on the shunt so you got battery charging you got the scope showing the same negative value on a shunt average and you're showing um, you're seeing the waveform is really active on the this it's running and you see the negative sign in front plus the battery climbed all evidence shows there's negative wattage. Nothing is showing an average positive wattage. The voltmeter at the shunt, it only shows positive wattage sometimes, but long term, the average reading is a negative because it's negative more often than it's positive.